Hello Vinyl Community! Hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well today. We've got some stuff to show today. So we're starting off with Magical Mystery Tour. This is still in the shrink wrap. This is what's called, for you younger people, VHS videos. <laughs> yes. And that was real noisy. Thank you very much. Next up, Beetle Monthly. This has got a lot of Magical Mystery Tour stuff. Got some good stuff, that's for sure. This has got a lot of Magical Mystery Tour stuff. Reading John at Home with Leisure. I know I'm wearing Sergeant Pepper shirt. Sorry about that. I don't think I've got a Magical Mystery Tour shirt. I couldn't find one. So, so sorry. But I do have a pepper tie-in. There is, there is a tie-in. But it's a little later on in the show. CD doesn't sound right, does it? Then keep an eye on this, because I got this coming up. It tells you which beetle was the walrus. Mm -hmm. Another beetly clue. <laughs> Beetle Monthly. Next up, Magical Mystery Tour. Sorry, I can't do it like uh, when he jumps on the bus and yells it. This is the booklet, and it's still intact. But I won't go through it all. You know it. You've seen it. You love it. <laughs> it's great. It's good. And this copy is UK copy. Also, look at this. Hey, Paul McCartney. This is from Record Store Day. Yes, I just came back from Record Store Day. This is Paul McCartney, still sealed. Cassette. Record Store Day, where I live, was absolutely insane. I stood in line for two and a half hours before getting in. It was nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'll have to show you what else I got. Next Beetle Monthly. This has got a lot of beetle stuff. Good Magical Mystery Tour stuff. Originally Magical Mystery Tour was shot, and I've got it, it was shot on market, uh, black and white. And I've got the black and white version, and it's it's yeah, it's no biggie, but it's in black and white, and it was shown on Boxing Day, so I could understand uh, why it was such an upheaval, because everybody expected kind of a happy Christmas Beatles story, and here they ended up doing some bizarre Christmas, not even Christmassy thing. Oops, sorry about that. I went a little too fast on that one. Good one of Paul. John. I thought this CD was better quality than it was. I just probably need to clean it, so sorry for the... Yikes. Let's just turn it off. Don't know why that was so bad. Sorry. Then this is a great book. And this has got some terrific pictures. Just some great, great Magical Mystery Tour stuff in here. Um, A lot of these have also have got snapshot pictures. So these are like actual actual photographs. <laughs> it's like I'm doing a Ruddles documentary. This is with the actual film where the actual film was shot for the Ruddles. We'll be talking about their blue jeans. Okay. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Ruddles film, it's absolutely hilarious. These are the snapshots I was talking about. These are cool. Very, very nice. 
You may just have to pause on your own for some of these because a lot of these I'm going to have to move quickly on. And this is when they were being Merlin. Merlin. Uh, let's see. More Magical Mystery Tour. But I've got a bunch of the albums. We'll get into that as well. There's a lot of the other stuff. For Magical Mystery Tour. So you'll see a lot of a lot of Magical Mystery Tour stuff today. And like I said, I'm wearing a Beatles t-shirt. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. But yeah, Magical Mystery Tour was just a real crazy, crazy album. I, I've been to Liverpool and uh, just missed the Magical Mystery Tour bus. There was like a bus you could take to go on a tour ride. And I just missed the last one. So I hope to get back someday. Alright, I know I've shown a lot of these. One more picture. And I'll wrap up this book. Because there's a lot more pictures in this. But I'm just going to quit there. Then, boom, that was loud. These were great. And this is all about Magical Mystery Tour. Great pictures here. About the bus. Okay. More stuff about Magical Mystery Tour. That's neat. All right, and then I've got next up the Japanese 45. That's on black. That's pretty cool. Then this one is up next. This is the original one from 67. Strawberry Fields and Penny Lane. Next one up, these are all 45s. Okay. Next 45. Next 45. And there's this one. This is in black too, kind of like the one I showed before. That's in black as well. Then I just got this, everybody. Record Store Day. Absolutely crazy. I got the second to the last one. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to leave this sealed. But yeah, this is second to last. I couldn't believe it. So that's kind of why I'm wearing my pepper shirt anyway. Great magazine on Magical Mystery Tour. And there's just a bunch of stuff in here talking about Magical Mystery Tour. Um, so that's a good magazine. Then there was this book that was put out about Magical Mystery Tour. And this book is a terrific book. This is definitely a Beetle book to get if you don't have it already. I can make a recommendation from Beetley Brad. And this book has a lot of explanation of... Magical Mystery Tour and just the excitement of it and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the front picture on here was where the uh, bus, the Magical Mystery Tour bus, got stuck on the bridge. So that was kind of a big, big deal. I've got video of, of the bus being stuck and them talking about the bus on, on the uh, telly, <laughs> on the news and stuff. So that was kind of a big deal. So there were a lot of pictures. So if you see that picture, you will say, hey, I know that picture. Beetle Brad showed that in one of his publications and showed that it was um, stuck on the bridge. Great color picture. I'm trying to think. A couple years back, they showed... The Magical Mystery Tour bus, and I can't remember, it's, it's in England, but I don't, I forgot where it was. But it was somewhere, somewhere in England that the bus now is parked. 
but you know they do do they do have replicas and all that kind of stuff for driving around for the magical mystery tour but yeah this this was a uh quite a wild film this is one of my favorite favorite pictures beetle brad loves that picture i think that would be a great 45 sleeve which i think it is on one overseas but anyway just more stuff on that then this whole magazine is all about magical mystery tour as well this is a great magazine and you could send away for a poster that was this on the front but like i said this is just just pages and pages of uh, magical mystery tour stuff um if you picked this up that's great if you didn't try and find this one if you're into magical mystery tour then this kind of matches me shirt hey um, but yeah, it is it is Magical Mystery Tour, but it does talk about some other stuff in between here. Day in a Life, doing the video. Um, and then we just cannot go any further without mentioning, uh, during this time, this is when Brian Epstein died. What a horrible thing that was for the Beatles. Um, they were just absolutely devastated. So, Brian... Actually, when they're going to go see the Maharishi. So, you know, actually, we got a little bit more time, but um, just horrible. So, this is kind of, uh, actually, Abbey Road kind of kicked it off, but there's a lot of the death clues and all that kind of stuff of Paul's dead in this. Um, this is one of my favorite pictures as well. I really like that one a lot. Um, there's a lot of stuff about Paul is dead throughout all of these albums, and Today, there's still even rumors and discussions about Paul is dead, which, wow, <laughs> that's all I can think of, wow. I love the Rolls Royce, John Lennon's 1965 Rolls Royce Phantom 5 was this picture that John had painted psychedelic. This was black, and then he had it changed psychedelic colors. So, if you've seen my other videos, you know Beetle Brad's really into Rolls Royces and cars. Got some neat stuff of that. So anyway, there's a lot more in there, but I'm going to stop with that. Then this one is next, Magical Mystery Tour. This is my sister's. This is probably the only album I've got that's hers. Actually, I've got one other. But this is my sister's, and it also has the original booklet as well. Um, and this is mono, this copy. And I really like this mono. This is the American mono. And I think the American mono is better than the British mono one that was just done in the mono set. I didn't think all that much was very impressive with the uh, British one when they released all the mono albums. They released Magical Mystery Tour. And I don't think it's as good as the pressing of this one. That's just my opinion, just throwing it out there. But uh, this is where I'm going to stop. I had uh, some special stuff that I was going to show you, absolutely some surprises. Uh, the record store day was definitely a big deal, but my glitch was in my video, so I won't be able to do it, but I'll do it next time. So I'm sorry if uh, you're all anticipating a big surprise, but the big surprise should be the next video. So, so stay tuned. And I am out of here, Vinyl Community. See ya.